Hi everybody, I am Miss Rushton and I am here to show you how to do this week's lesson that's called All About Me Hoodie. All right, so here we go. The first thing you're going to do is go into your Google Classroom. When you go into your Google Classroom, you're going to see Steam Week 2. And I want you to go there because I've created a shared or a document that's going to make a copy for you. Go in there. I'll tell you about why it says Brinkley Rushton. Um, view assignment. And this is going to give you your instructions on what to do for the whole week. But also, it's going to give you this uh, this document right here. All right, and before I move on, so it says Brinkley Rushton. Brinkley Rushton is my daughter, and I like to use her Google Classroom as the student example. So I'm not Brinkley Rushton. She is. She's a first grader. All right, so you're going to click on that, and it's going to open up a new document for you. This is in Google Slides, and you're going to notice your name is automatically put up here. That means it's made a copy. You don't have to worry about going in and making a copy and saving it for yourself. This is a, it does it automatically whenever I assign it to you. And then it says all about me hoodie. So what we're trying to do here is make and design a hoodie that tells everybody else a little bit something about you. And if you think about a hoodie, it usually has visual or images on it, not so much just a bunch of words. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to put images on there. So if people saw you wearing this hoodie, they would get a snapshot of who you are. All right, so you have two slides you're working with. The first slide is the hoodie. Now, if you go and you see this hoodie, and you're like, I'm going to move it. You can't. I've locked that hoodie into place. So as you put your images on it, it's not going to shift and move and get all weird. Slide two tells you all the things that I want you to include on your hoodie. Things like your name, age, birthday, favorite color, a hobby, a favorite food, where you were born, and one more fun fact about you. When you're on the slide with your hoodie, I tried to make this big enough to where you can see it. You shouldn't have to click back and forth, but if you do, do it. go for it. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and create my hoodie so that you can see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my name on here somewhere. And so how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna insert, and my favorite way to do this to make it way more interesting is to use the word art, not just a text box. I think text box starts off really boring. Word art starts off fun. So I'm gonna click word art, and I'm gonna type in my name, Mrs. Rush. I spell my name Rushton and then just hit the enter button and there it is there's my name but that's not very cool so let's make this more interesting so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my font so I can scroll through here and look at all these different fonts or if I want to get extra fancy I can click on more fonts and there is a bazillion fonts in Google that you can use. So um, I like, let's see, maybe I'll do a handwriting font because it's like I wrote my name. So I can scroll through here and find one that I think is cool. Oh, I like this one, rock salt. So if I click on that and then I hit okay, that's not only going to put it up here so I can use it again, but it changes my font automatically. All right, now let's change the color of this. So the paint bucket is the inside of the letter. Maybe you want it empty and you want it transparent, you can do that. Or if you wanna fill it with any of these colors or even a gradient, I'm gonna do a gradient because I think that looks cool. I'm gonna do, I don't actually usually like red, but let's see, I'm gonna go for um, like a pink and let's see not linear. Let's go radio. Okay. Oh, that's fun. All right. So and now I can also click on this and this is the border. This is a line outside of my name and I'm going to keep it black, but I want it thicker. I want to be able to see that outline. Yes. There we go. Okay. And the last thing I have to do is just change the size of this so I can make it small. I can make it tall. I can do all kinds of stuff. I could also, let's say I wanted to put it down like the sleeve. If I take this circle and I rotate it, I can make it to where it's going to fit, hopefully down the sleeve. Now it doesn't quite squeeze in there. So 
let's go ahead and make it fit that. I'm also can use the arrow keys on my keyboard instead of the mouse and the mouse can be really hard. Also, if you have an iPad and you could touch screen this, that makes it a little easier. But I can use my arrow keys and just kind of bounce that thing around. So if you click off of it, you can see how it looks. Cool. I'm so awesome already. All right, next thing, age. Fine, I'll tell you my age. I'm going to, I could do two things. I can go back in and uh, do insert word art, or I can go and find an image of the number 38 because that's how old I am. So I could go over here and type 38 and then, so this is going to Google and then go images. Ooh, I do not like those guns. No guns on your images. But let's see, let me type the number. Oops, I didn't quite get there. There you go. So that gives me a lot of other 38 options that I could go for. So let's see, I kind of like, ooh, I like this flower one. That's kind of pretty. Oh, I really like this one. So I can click on that. And if you right click or if you have a touch screen mouse, you double click two fingers, click and say copy image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here back over to my hoodie and I'm going to put that 38. So I'm going to again double tap and hit paste and then I can make this. I'm going to put it right on the chest here. Okay, so that's my age. Now, what's the next thing? Birthday. All right. Oh, I'm going to edit this before I give it to you guys. I'm also going to have you put a self portrait, take a picture in. But let's go ahead and put a birthday in. I'm going to do that using insert word art and then my birthday. And you could type the numbers or you can type the um, words. So I think I'm going to go just with numbers. I'm going to go 05 and I'm going to do a dot two o dot and then my year I was born was 82. Okay, again, let's pick a font that I like. I used the rock salt last time. What does this one look like? Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to fill it with, I liked that pink I used last time. So maybe I'll do that. And let's see what happens if I just squish it, maybe make it bold. Oh, that's even better. I can see it better. And I know there's more I can do. I can go to format options and I can add things like a shadow on it. So this is a drop shadow color black. Um, let's see this. We can't really see it super great on this one. If I move the distance, oh, there it is. It puts the distance way off. I'm not going to do a drop shadow on this one, but hmm, let's see. Let's see what, oh, a little reflection is pretty cool. So maybe I'll leave that on there. All right, awesome. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. I think I'm going to put that down here way at the bottom, kind of out of the way. Nice. Okay, so now I have my, my name my age and my birthday. The next thing I'm gonna do is favorite color. And I think a good way to put a color in there is gonna be to put a, a, um, a shape. So right here are the shapes. Click on that. There's these shapes, just in general shapes that you wanna use. You do arrows, call outs, even kind of these math symbols would be kind of cool. So I'm going to do for my favorite color, I think I'm going to do, oh, Maybe, this is hard choice sometimes, right? It's picking, oh, I'm gonna do the diamond shape. And I'm gonna draw that on here. Maybe I'll just put it next to my age. So I drew that, I can move it around, I can still adjust it. And then, of course, I have to fill it with my favorite color. So here we go, I'm gonna click on there. Now, if you do not see a color on here that you like, the fun thing you could do is go to custom. So if you go right here and do the plus on custom, you're going to have so many more options. So I really like like a blue green color. Oops, let's just slide that guy over. And so I'm gonna get close. And then what I can do is just start kind of tapping on these different areas, and you see this little dot here, that's the color that it's going to be. 
So yeah, that works. I'm gonna hit okay. It's gonna fill it with that. And then again, if I want the outside of the diamond to be a different color, I can do that. I Black is clean to me. And this time I'm gonna make it a little fancier and do some dots. Let's make it to where we can see it. Click off of it. Let's see what, all right, nice. Okay, so now I have a favorite color on there. Hobby, all right, let's see. I, of course, love to do art. So let's go with a paint brush. And I'm just in Google here. Oh yes, this, oh, I love this one already. So I'm gonna click on that. Let's see if it brings it up over here. Perfect. So again, if I two fingers tap, right click, copy image, click back into my hoodie here. And let's see, I'm not sure if I can paste it, edit and paste. Let's see if that worked. Oh yeah, that worked. All right, now sometimes you're gonna get an image that has all this empty space around it. So all of this here kind of cuts off the hoodie. So I can go ahead and use this crop button, bring in the sides and get rid of all that extra white I have over there. Once I have it the size I want it, I just hit the enter button or return and that gets rid of that extra. I can also come in and squeeze the image to make it skinnier. I'm gonna rotate this a little bit and I'm gonna make this kind of go up the arm of my sleeve here. You can see I can stretch and change that. All right, now over here is the format options. I'm not sure, I was just gonna see if I can make this transparent, meaning you could see through it so it doesn't cut off the hoodie. Let's see, maybe it's in tools. Mm, sorry, I should have looked this up ahead of time, but format options, I'm gonna look at it one more time. So it's not in size and rotation. Position maybe, no, maybe can't do it. Transparent meaning you could see through it. All right, well, I'll leave it like that. It cuts off my hoodie a slight bit, but it's not horrible. All right, favorite food, pizza for me. Pizza, not Pizza Hut. Oops, go backspace, pizza. All right, so here's some images right here, or I can go to images. Do I want maybe just a slice? Ooh, look at that clip art. Oh, I love that little cartoon pizza. Oh, these are, this is perfect. I'm going to do one of these, let's see. Pizza guy, can't go wrong with a pizza guy. So double tap, copy image, go back to my hoodie, okay. There it is. And you could do edit, paste, or you could double tap and paste. Hello, pizza guy. Now, this list of things over here, that's kind of like the bare minimum. These are the things I definitely want you to add. If you wanna add more, more decoration, more pizzazz, feel free. This is your art and I want it to be as complex or as simple as you want. Now, one thing that's not on the list that is gonna be on the list when you download this is I would like for you to put a self portrait. Now that self portrait is a picture of yourself. If you have a picture of yourself on your computer you want to upload, great. If not, I'm going to show you how you use your camera. So click off of my pizza guy there. I'm going to go insert image. This is the same on your computer and there should be an option. Insert, come on, insert image and then down here at camera. All right, so you can already see me over here, but it's gonna show me right here also. There it goes. So, again, you know, get how I want it, and then smile. Really did take it. Okay, <laughs> there's my image over there. There's mine. And so if I like it, I can do insert. All right, <laughs> so perfect. Um, now, the fun thing you can do about this is if you don't like it in color like that, what you can do is go over to these adjustments and I like to go to the recolor 
and maybe I'm just going to do this kind of really extreme black and white. I think that looks a little bit cooler. Now it's a little hard to see myself. So I, if I go to adjustments, I can kind of adjust the brightness or darkness, the contrast. Okay, I'm just going to reset it because I was okay with it. All right. And then this is going to, I can get and crop it if I don't like the extra edges and I just want my face. I can crop the sides. Remember once you bring it in, you just hit on your keyboard, the enter button. And I don't know, I'm kind of thinking I want to just put this right over the face part. <laughs> All right, awesome. All right, you have one more thing on there, but I'm just going to let you guys do that yourself. Once you have all of your requirements over here done, and or if you just need to take a break, you can come out of this at any time. You can just X out of this, and it's going to save it for you. I'm going to X out of that, and I go back to my assignment here. It should be up here. So if I click on that, give it a second to reload. It's going to have the exact same images on there. Alrighty. So once you get done with all of that, you can just turn it in there. All right. It's a lot of information. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it helps you with this assignment. Again, always email me if you have any questions. Cannot wait to see your final versions. So let me come out of here and I'll see you later.